So Congress had to decide what they were going to do with these new Western lands under their control after the war. And they also had to figure out how to raise money to pay off the war debts. A lot of money that they owed to other countries. They still owed soldiers for paying um, for paying them for serving in the war. So they had to figure out a way to be able to raise money. And it decided to solve both problems by selling these Western lands. So Congress passed the Land Ordinance of 1785, which set up a system to survey the land, to organize the land and divide it up to be able to sell off to the public. The land was divided into townships, which were about 36 square miles, and these were divided into 36 lots of 640 acres each. Each of these townships had one lot that was reserved specifically for public schooling and four lots which were given to veterans of the war. The remaining lots were then able to be sold to the public. And so this was the way that Congress thought they would be able to raise enough money to pay off their war debts. Now with these territories divided up and sold to the public, that means that more people are going to start moving into these territories. And now we have to think of a way of how we're going to organize these territories politically. And so the Northwest Ordinance of 1787 was passed. Um, eventually from this Northwest Ordinance, we have the states of Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, and Wisconsin, which come about because of the passing of the ordinance. It created a system for bringing these new states into the Union. And so Congress agreed that the Northwest Territory would be divided into smaller territories with a governor that was first appointed by the Congress. Then eventually, once the population reached 60,000 people, the settlers would then be able to draft up their own constitution and apply and ask to join the Union. In addition, the Northwest Ordinance also protected civil liberties. It required that public education be provided, and it also um, stated that there was no slavery nor involuntary servitude allowed in these new territories. So pretty much this last condition um, banned slavery in the new territories. Now, however, this is going to continue to be a very controversial issue, and we'll see that this is not going to be the last time that we're going to touch upon the issue of slavery when it comes to the creation and the addition of new states in the United States. Um, but here we see with the Northwest Ordinance of 1787 um, how they went ahead and started to create these requirements for adding new states to the Union.